John, to start things off, first half, um, one word for me, dominant, would you agree or not? Absolutely, yeah, we played really well, some great football, some good chances and possibly we'll ruin the, the fact that we didn't take them, you know, we had some really good chances and I uh, repeat myself because uh, watching it, it looked like a, you know, a really good performance, you know, good football, flowing football, fast moving, getting in behind them, getting down the size of them. Uh, and causing them, causing them all sorts of problems and uh, as I say probably ruin the fact that we didn't take two or three in the first half and probably you know give us that extra cushion uh, uh, you know regardless of how many in front the game's never finished but you know I think if you get two or three in front at half time give yourself a right good opportunity to go and, go and win the game and of course we expected Dunfermline to come out to start the second half and have a go which they did we just had to weather that storm unfortunately you know, we didn't quite do that, uh, but I thought after that, again, we came back into the game and created another, you know, good few opportunities that we could easily have, have won the game, even uh, based on the second half as well. Uh, so, pleased with the performance, pleased with the attitude and the, uh, the players' work rate. Uh, excellent first half. Didn't quite weather the storm as much as we should have done in the, at the opening period of the second half and then regained uh, control in the game, so to speak, and good opportunities. So, big, 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 uh, big improvement on our, our, our last game. And, uh, you know, it's, you know, if you're home, you know, it's a position we're in, you want to win. I mean, it's probably not the worst point either, uh, you know, uh, in the grand scheme of things. But, uh, yeah, it's a lot of positives to take from that game. The two late cutbacks at the end, where the game finally poised at one-one. Did you do you think you snatched it? Yeah, absolutely. We had these we had these chances. Yeah, exactly. We did have these chances. We had a number that we got to doing behind them, and, and it was just a matter of getting someone on the end. But we either didn't get on the end of them, or our shots got blocked. You know, and so that was disappointing that we didn't manage to, to do that. But we kind of fault the, the players. You know, they gave everything today. Uh, big massive improvement. And, that's how we've got to play in, in, in every game and, and start every game like that. Uh, and if we do that, then you know we're certainly going to win a, a, lot, a hell of a lot of games, you know. And that's uh, that's crucial going forward. And is that the biggest point to take forward from today, John? The fact that we all due respect after the, the Kelty match, you were saying that you didn't think there was the quite the, the level of application and desire. But today, you've seen application, you've seen desire. The guys have fought for the jersey, and the fans have gone away with a bit of pride in the shirt again. I would like to think so, yeah, yeah. I mean, I've, as I said, we didn't want to give anyone two goals start. We did but at Kelly, you know, and we found it difficult after that. So, uh, today we started the game exceptionally well and could easily be in two or three ahead, and that's, you know, what we didn't do. And, uh, you know, and in that particular game that we're talking about there, Kelly did, you know, and uh, that, that can make a big difference. But, yes, I mean, the fans can go away uh, with a sense of pride uh, that the players' performance was really, really good. Uh, and a lot of positives going forward for the rest of the season based on based on that. Uh, obviously, you're mentioning the fans going away and enjoying it. I thought it was a terrific back in today and in big numbers as well. Incredible, absolutely incredible. The fans are fantastic. And I hope that you did enjoy it. I know you'd be a little bit disappointed we didn't take all three points, but thanks for your back in. The players appreciate it so much. Myself and Paul appreciate it. You know, uh, absolutely fantastic. From we're coming out of the warm up, the guys are singing, you know, from like quarter past two, I and mean, that's when we came out, they probably were singing before that, but from quarter past two all the way through the whole game, absolutely fantastic. Thanks for your, your back in, your support. It's, as I say, it's much, much appreciated. Hopefully, you like what you saw, hopefully, there's better things to come. And, uh, you know, it's a long season, a hell of a long season, but it's very much, you know, even this early, it's very much in our hands. We can. Um Assume that from your pre-match comments, the man who took the knock was missing today was Juan Alegria, yeah. not in the squad. Yeah. Uh, just very quickly, John, to wrap things up, can you give the fans a, a quick overview of all the, the injuries? Juan was complaining about an abdominal uh, issue at the tail end of last week. I mean, probably wouldn't have been available for, for Aloha. Okay. Uh, Sean Mackey was ill last Friday when we had the bounce game, he played in it, he was ill and again he wouldn't have been available for Aloha under the circumstances. He only came back to training on Thursday and he was, you know, he wasn't really 100% right. And when you go into a game like this you need to have players who are 100% you know, ready to go and Sean would have went on the pitch, you know, he would have went on the pitch, you know, but uh, you know, we had two guys that are 100% fit, he still had a bit, bit of cold, you could hear it in his voice yesterday, uh, Thursday and Friday and uh, so, you know, 
that's why you know Sean got a, 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 a you know a, a place on the bench. And good to see Brad back in the you know uh, on the bench, a step in the right direction for for him. And you look at our bench now, and it's getting a lot stronger. So uh, yeah, so one's got this abdominal uh, issue, which he's been at Rangers all week, all week there, and he'll probably be with Rangers uh, for a good party next week. And we'll just have to wait and see what the what the outcome is there. I think the only other one then we've not mentioned is Jamie Wilson. Jamie Wilson. Uh, Jamie, uh, the specialist says that he wants to rehab him and uh, not to he's go into an operation right now. Uh, he wants to rehab it and see if it uh, improves. So he's, he's looking at three or four weeks down the line to see if there's any improvement. Finn Malcolm, who's been out with a, a back injury for some time now, uh, again, come back into training towards the end of last week and uh, he managed to get to find himself on the bench today, so um, head in the right direction there as well. All positive, John, as always. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Thank you.